Thank you. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look and having a breakdown of somebody who I consider to be a top five centre back in the game, if not a top three. We'll show you a couple of comparisons at the end. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's an absolutely insane player. I loved watching Cannavaro growing up. I mean, him and Gattuso and Roy Keane, that type of higher tackling, aggressive players. I really liked watching them when I was growing up. Even though he never played for Manchester United, I did really like Cannavaro. And this is no different in this game because his stats are absolutely insane. Apologies as well, lads, uh, for the lack of my usual upload schedule. I've just been really sick the last few days. So uh, just starting to feel a bit right now. So hopefully we will be able to stream later on today. Um, but yeah, just apologies for that in case any of you were wondering where I was. So straight off the rip, lads, just to take a closer look at Cannavaro, right? If you look at this card here without having even trained him up, he's got 25 levels to go, but this is just his level one base stats and base form, right? Um, the fact that he's got, you know, the defense stats in the 80s, speed, acceleration, stamina, and physical contact in the 70s, and jumping in, in the 80 zone with heading 77 and low pass 70 is just insane, right? And then you throw in the fact that he's got unwavering form with a B rating as an epic and the player skills, like... <laughs> He's ridiculous. He's also a destroyer, which in my opinion is the best center back play style because it's just a super aggressive play style when you're not controlling him with the AI. The AI just always kind of cover your tracks for you, which I hope to see toned down a little bit in eFootball24. But for now, obviously that is kind of where you want to go, especially if you're playing in a back three. If you're playing in a back three with Cannavaro off the right or left, I would stick him off the right of a back three. You can be able to deal with wingers because he's got the pace. You'll be able to deal with in the air stuff, even though he's quite short. He's got excellent heading and jumping ability, especially when we train him up, we'll show you. And the player skills to come in to boost that up as well, um, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, he's just an insane player. One of the best center backs. As I said, I will show you two alternatives at the end that I think kind of compare with him. Um, uh, but we will get there in a second. But yeah, I mean, if you if you do get him, lads, he, he definitely is one of the best center backs in the game, right? Now, when we take a look over at his kind of ultimate form, so so to speak, when we fully trained him up um, and simulated that, you can see here with 25 levels, right? I think you've kind of got two ways of training him, but they're both very similar, right? So the first one is to max out his defensive capabilities. We're just going to put four and five into dexterity and lower body to give his speed, acceleration, and stamina all on an even keel at 80. That will also bring up his... Um, that will also bring up his balance past the 70 mark, which is nice, even though he's a center back. And then it's all about the Fennin and aerial strength, physical contact and jump. That's kind of where you want to go with this card. So aggression at 95 is huge on this card because that doesn't get uh, the player form arrow uh, rating increased. But the rest of the defensive stats will. So his defensive stats are all going to be around the 94, 95 mark uh, stat wise, which is which is really good. Now, I think this is a 98 overall version of uh, Cannavaro, I think this one, this version of him, is a really good player, um, but it depends your play style, I mean, if you are able to defend and you're a good manual defender, you potentially can get away with having these at, like, defensive engagement at the 88 range, right, and you still have your, um, you still have your aggression at 92, but it frees up a few more, so that's where this build comes in, where we've kind of done that, where we give the defensive engagement just that little tweak to the 88. You're still going to get that little um, upgrade with the stats with the f player form arrow. He does have a B form and he does have unwavering form. You can see the tree there. Um, but this obviously frees up a bit of acceleration if you want to go that route. I mean, a lot of people always ask me, why do I lay so much imp impetus on acceleration? It's not even for acceleration. It's more for balance. And just the higher I find the balance a player has um the more like they're able to just manage on the pitch the more they control better i just feel myself that they control better they handle better they're more mobile now if you are able to get by with 80 acceleration which is more than enough you can obviously you know improve anything else that you want to improve there you could put pump up the passing if you're going for a defensive option that is the one to go for 12 into defending seven into area strength and four into goalkeeper one to give you that jump uh, extra so that when you get the when you get the form arrow you will have 99 jump and the rest of the defensive stats in the high uh, to mid 90s so yeah I do think he is an insane player Um, as I said to you a couple of minutes ago as well I talked about kind of players that that kind of train up and are similar to um that are similar to Cannavaro right so the first one we're going to look at is Marquinhos now Marquinhos, this is a special build of him. This is a special uh, player of him. It's from the Masterful Stars. 
but you can see there that you've got a similar card you know you've got a similar card there um is a is a little bit taller but has the heading the jumping the defensive stats the speed the acceleration Calavera outperforms him in pretty much everything there apart from tackling um but everything else kind of arrow outperforms him and you know marquinhos is only a 95 overall van dyke is too slow rudy even though he's a destroyer as well he's kind of similar but doesn't have the defensive stats he's more of a unit under the high ball um and then you've got obviously a couple of the legends there as well now the one that kind of really i think uh levels up with him nicely is uh Gavardial. this obviously he's, he's way taller and he doesn't have the defensive engagement or uh, awareness but he is a build-up, but he is always, I find him super aggressive as well. And then last but not least, we have um, Kunde, who is kind of in this zone as well, of kind of like a smaller base player height-wise, but has that aggressive tackling nature about him, um, even though he doesn't, he's not down as a destroyer. Um, so there is a couple there. Obviously, Timber is there as well with the speed. Um, that's kind of what you're going for with that build with the speed. So there are a couple of options there, but I think Cannavaro is probably one of the best center backs that they have released. It just depends. I like to have one tall center back always at the middle um, because the pace doesn't really get caught up with him too much or he doesn't have to catch up with the pace too much if you defend deep uh, with your three center backs or whatever. Um, but yeah, he is absolutely insane. I think he's one of the best players that they've ever released. So let me know what you think. Obviously, a lot of people will have signed him um and we did play with him on our co-op the other day um one of the lads Terra Hawk, had him and we played with him and you can see the difference especially when his positioning and his aggressiveness he just kind of like is always in the right place at the right time so yeah let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any more questions if you want any more breakdowns on any of the players let me know